Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's the big day, guys. We all get to start FC25 today on the web app. The web app is here today, guys. As EA, yes, said, it's dropping today. It's not tomorrow like we originally thought it was going to be because EA changed the date on us last second. They pulled a fast one. We're going to talk about that in today's video, maybe why they did that, but also get us prepared for when we all get to log on the web app today at a certain time when we think it's going to drop, what the best things are to do really quickly, but then look into some of what should be coming content-wise. We have some leaks, guys, to discuss and some questions still to be answered about the market and things going to be moving today for sure on this game. So if you're excited for the web app and actually starting the FC25 grind today, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Now, I want to start this video off by saying I will be starting my FC25 Ultimate Team Road to Glory today as well on the full version of the game thanks to EA. We'll be streaming that live on Twitch. That link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. Get ready. We'll be on the game and exploring it in that way today as well. But let's talk about the web app, guys, because the biggest question for for all of this is when when is this web app going to drop when will we have to actually stop f5ing and refreshing this page and be able to actually log on and see that login button for what we will sign in it should be around 6 p.m content time guys that is when it should be dropping in the last couple of years it's varied between 30 minutes before the content drop to like an hour after sometimes ea kind of slow release it and some people are getting on and then it takes 15 to 30 minutes for everybody to get on so the servers aren't overloaded. But I do want to tell you one thing. Make sure you log into your EA account before the web app drops today and do a screenshot of your backup codes or maybe change your authentication to like an authentication app instead of text or email because the servers will get bogged down and those services will get bogged down as everybody's logging in for the first time and it can save yourself a lot of headache trying to get into the web app and a lot of stress that's one thing i did want to mention now we forgot to say it straight off the bat yeah the web apps today guys it's not tomorrow on wednesday or sorry on thursday ea yesterday randomly updated the pitch notes to say starting from the september 18th date they moved it a day forward so i think it was probably meant to be dropping on the 18th like we originally thought all this time it was just maybe ea had a typo in the pitch notes because we were all expecting oh man we have to wait an extra day for the for the web app and actually it's going to drop on the day that we originally thought it was going to today on Wednesday. So that is really exciting. And that's kind of the rundown of why it is happening today. But once we actually get logged in on this web app around the content drop time today, what is our course of action? Now we dropped a video just a couple of days ago on how to start the FC 25 web app. It's very in depth, a lot of detail in there, but really quickly, I want to remind you guys, first thing you do when you log on to the web app today, choose your starter nation, choose your kit and your badge and quick sell those kits and those badges. The starter nation still, I don't think is that big of a deal. Brazil, France, Germany, and maybe a shout for Spain because of the objectives that we'll talk about later in the video or uh, maybe shouts for who you could pick, but make sure you quick sell these kits and badges. Take the biggest club or nation possible from those. Same thing with the badge. And then you will be into ultimate team. And yes, this year, guys, we do have the welcome backpacks, which is amazing. Of course, EA have confirmed those that we will be getting some returning user rewards. Now, the biggest question is, are these tradable or are these untradable? But regardless, we're going to open those packs and then go to SBCs. After you open those welcome backpacks, whatever they are, head over to the SBC section and we will be completing the Foundations 1 SBC and that unlocks all the rest of the SBCs. It's really easy to do but that's how you get all the rest of the SBCs opened. Now, the next thing after that, this is where it starts to kind of get a bit grindy because once you do those things, you've kind of completed like the beginning of the web app. You've got yourself a couple thousand coins from quick selling those kits, badges, and stuff like that. You've got some players in your club from the welcome backpacks. And now the question is, how do I get more coins? Do I go to the market or do I go to objectives? And I think guys, objectives may be the play. This is a tweet from last year, the sort of FC24 about a method using one of the, um, this is in milestones, I think. The milestones objective called the transfer market mastery. Now this is not confirmed to be in FC25 yet, but there's something like this every single year where you get coins for listing players on the market. You can see here, if you list 50, list 100, list 250, list 500 players, you can get yourself a solid amount of coins, especially 
like the 50 or 100 that can give you 3000 coins in a matter of a couple hours that might make you more coins than actually trading on the market if the welcome backpacks are untradeable, because then it's going to be tough to trade on the market. We'll talk about trading in a second, but just to kind of go over this method, what you're going to have to do is quick sell your gold rare badge and kit. That'll give you 1.5K. You're going to go open two bronze packs from the store and list all those items up on the market. Then you're going to go buy two more items and you're going to continually list those for four hours so that you can get yourself up to the listing 50 the listing 100 it'll actually come pretty fast after you're doing that and you'll also be completing objectives at the same time it's like buy two players it'll give you some sp some xp and maybe a couple of gold packs as well and yes that's a bit grindy but it's going to get you somewhere around 5,000 coins by just listing players up on the market and completing a few objectives this is what we'll also be looking for today on stream when i'm on the actual game to see if there are other ways of listing cards there's obviously going to be some foundation objectives you could do like changing your club name doing an sbc you know um putting a chemistry together in your team swap a position 78 times two for moving a player to their preferred position bring that to fc25 apply a chem style 75 plus pack that could be great a shadow chem style for chaining or formation stuff like that that you could just do on the web app straight away so that's the sort of stuff that we're going to be looking for today as well as we get into the game now let's talk market right market in the web app period nobody's playing the game so it's no gameplay demand it's really really grindy right and like i said it all depends on whether or not the welcome backpacks are tradable or not but one thing that has been leaked is that once again the advanced SBCs are untradable however with EA giving us welcome backpacks this year you're actually going to have the ability to do these hybrid league and nation SBCs during the web app because you have more players potentially we don't know how many players are going to be in these welcome backpacks we don't know if it's going to be like um, a lot of players, gold rares and commons, or if it's going to be like two or three packs, or if it's like five or six packs, again, tradable versus untradable. There's a lot of variables here, but they're giving us packs and at least some of them have to have players, which is going to mean it's going to be easier to do these SBCs, which probably people will want to be doing because they will give us good packs. And if you've seen the leaked team of the week, holy, we're going to want to open packs as soon as possible because that team leak looks absolutely insane but again like i mentioned there's no gameplay demand basically everybody's going to be doing the foundation sbcs or the hybrid league of nation sbc so if you're going to go straight to the market and you're going to trade the stuff that you want to trade with is the stuff that is required in these sbcs and that is bronzes basically bronzes i wouldn't even say silvers there will be some silvers that are required maybe if people are moving up to like foundations four and five people just like to do sbcs i don't think all these are necessarily worth doing after you do foundations one i don't think you need to do uh foundations two uh three four five you just need to do foundations one and then get into the hybrid league of nations in my personal opinion but um people are going to be doing the foundation so watch out for the bronze cards like last year bronze pack method was actually profitable because there were bronzes from goalkeepers to left mids right mids that were selling for like four or five hundred coins on the market in those first couple of minutes and hours of the web app because people were doing those sbcs and that's kind of all you can do at that time so once again remember that a lot of the trading is going to revolve around what people need for the sbcs and for these hybrid sbcs as well like i mentioned there's going to be the ability to trade with those as well so make sure you're doing a little bit of research to see what type of clubs and what type of nations um, and positions are needed for some of these sbcs i'm assuming that the solutions will be up on footbin pretty soon and that people will be going into sbcs completing those and be following solutions to do those sbcs so sbc solution trading might even start working as of today as well it's a very popular way to make coins at the beginning of the game now let's talk about more content that's dropping on the web app today guys on wednesday always with the web app we have team of the week number one and if you've seen this team of the week you know already that it is probably the best team of the week one we have ever seen we've got trinity rodman Teo hernandez lamina mall we've got gabrielle benzema kavaritskelia usman dembele 
Lionel Messi, how did I wait that long to mention him? Kareem Adeyemi, even Zakaria could be cracked. This team of the week is unbelievable. These are all so many meta players that are going to turn out to be great investments, but at the same time, cards that we would love to pack from those advanced SBCs and whatever packs we can get our hands on through milestones and objectives, even through the web app, right? It's going to be nice to try to pack one of these cards. If you pack one, you're going to be insanely lucky. This team of the week looks insane, especially from an investment perspective as well. Gabrielle with a Prem center back going to get over 70 pace. Will he have a place that plus? I don't know. They haven't said anything about what the minimum rating on team of the weeks will be. Is it going to be 80 to 81 like it was last year? Will it be 82? Are they going to give playstyle plus upgrades? I doubt it. I think, guys, that based off of last year's team of the week one, if the gold player had a playstyle plus, that will be on the inform. But I don't think that Lamina Mall is going to have a playstyle plus. I know there's been some concepts floating around of him with like technical plus. If EA were giving out playstyle pluses that fast on upgrades, I'd be a bit surprised. We're going to have to see. That's a whole thing we'll have to figure out with the power curve, obviously. But this is team of the week one, and it is unbelievable. But that should be in packs today as we're logging into the web app from 6 p.m. UK onward at the content drop time. Unreal. So we're going to look to the weekend, probably Friday and Saturday, at investing in some of these Team of the Week cards, depending on how their prices look. But that's the best part of this, man. We finally get on the market today. We finally get these cards moving. Our Alton team's moving. It is going to be great. Now, I want to talk about Evolutions as well, because uh, that's not the video I wanted to click on. This is what I wanted to click on. Last year, on the web app period, there were Evolutions that were dropped in the game. We actually had six Evolutions dropped day one on the game remember like there was an intro to evolutions there was the it was a relentless winger that was fifty thousand coins there was the golden glow up where so many people wanted to upgrade colby Menu from a bronze to like a low rated gold there was a center back evolution that ma tip was super popular in and now we have like five evolutions that have been leaked so far and i think most of them might even be in the game as of tomorrow which is really cool and means we're going to start to be able to plan and plot out what investments we want to make for evolutions, but also what players we want to evolve ourselves. I think this one's going to be an easy first evolution to do. Intro to stat limits. It says intro. It's very similar to the intro to evolutions that we had last year. I think this is going to be EA trying to get our minds wrapped around the new upgrade system for evolutions. Of course, this has been leaked and we're trying to figure it out exactly already ourselves. So it'll be really cool to mess around with this tomorrow. Even if on the web app, you can just click into evolutions, which you can and like see what players fit it. That'll be really, really neat because probably... And the websites like Footbin will start showing these evolutions pretty soon after they're dropped in game, hopefully, and uh, we'll be able to see what kind of cards fit those. I have high hopes for you know Footbin and updating stuff today, but I can understand how maybe without people on the actual game or many people, it might be a little difficult. So you might have to give some of these um, you know websites, especially Footbin, a little bit of time to upgrade prices and stuff like that too. The first couple days of the web app and uh, the actual early release, it takes a little bit for these uh, for like Footbin to get up and running. So that's one thing I would say as well today. We're going to have to give them a little bit of patience before we see prices tracked by the minute. But we're definitely going to have evolutions dropped in the game today. And I'm definitely going to be curious about checking on the season pass information, because once again, guys, in these pitch notes, there's a lot that EA have talked about related to squad foundations. This is the whole new season pass. We don't know if there's a paid season pass or not. It's been leaked. It was in the beta. Nothing has been said officially by EA. So we're going to be looking closely for that today. Um, and then, of course, I'm really interested in the whole total rush situation here. And then there's another leak for a player that's going to come out today. These are all the, the evolutions. Sorry, just to go back really quick. All the evolutions that are leaked. We have Roll Plus Plus Evo for the uh, club members. Uh, we have the Striker Max 82 Plus, which is the pre-order one. That's not going to be out until the 27th. Then we have a right back evolution, a center back evolution, and that intro evolution that we just talked about. So there's there's potential for like all of those to be dropped uh, in the game today for sure. But what I want to look at next is kind of continue this conversation with the objectives. I'm really curious to see how many good packs are in the season, but also about this whole world tour objective situation this is the one that gives the adama Traore as well that feels like it would be later on down the line kind of like we had the mateus cunha last year at the end of the season one we'll see how easy it is to complete but this leak looks awesome this looks incredible by the way 
because you'll be able to get an 83 rated prem goalkeeper robert sanchez in your team straight away now i'm gonna actually look up his card right now because i don't know if he has um any play styles uh robert sanchez from chelsea i'm not expecting him to have any goalkeeper play styles but i'm gonna check he has cross claimer so he does have one. Ooh, that's even better Nice. I did not know that. But this is the official requirements for his objective that he will be uh, dropped in game today, I guess. What a leak here. Um, win seven matches with six Spanish players. You're starting 11, score at least two goals, finesse three goals, and then concede no more than one goal in five matches. This would be really easy to do in squad battles when you're first getting on to the game. And it's actually making me tempted to take Spain from my starter nation pick. Uh, because that might give you some Spanish cards that might put you a little bit ahead in this season and in this total rush uh, mode that is kind of based around Spain, right? There's going to be nation-specific, league-specific content, and uh, maybe we'll just have to see. Maybe I'll be the guinea pig since I'll be on the actual version of the game. Maybe I'll take Spain today, see how it works out, and then go from there. But this is going to be an objective that's dropped in the game. And that'll be a really nice starter keeper. Uh, to not have to worry about upgrading your keeper for a bit. What are his reactions, by the way? This is a very important stat for goalkeepers. 78. You know what? That's not bad. 79 rated with 78 reactions. We're going to wait and see if they upgrade reactions for the Sanchez card. That'll be really interesting. But that'll be a part of content we're watching out for today. And the last big leak is flashback David Alaba. What a card. These are official stats, I guess. These are league stats, uh, as well as the positions. Left back, center defensive mid, and center mid. Now, I don't think this is going to be in the game today. This is probably going to be on the early access launch release, which will happen on the 20th around the world, of course, as people are flying to New Zealand, uh, allegedly, virtually, to get their uh, game on just a little bit early. But I think this might be a Friday content drop SBC, kind of like Kevin De Bruyne flashback was last year but that card looks insane and it's going to be an sbc worth grinding if it's grindable number one number two if the stats are actually that that's a mental card and alaba is always always super meta in game but we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here guys today we get on to the web app it is so exciting to actually get on the game today here's what i'll leave you guys with in the video today man it's exciting today don't put too much pressure on yourself because I can even feel it already for me. It's like, oh, I got to get on the game. Got to get the best start. Got to make sure that I get, you know, everything done perfectly and in time before other people get on so that I can do this and this and this and pack all these players. Like, it's okay. Like, it's hard on the web app, to be completely honest. Once you're getting on the game, the game obviously unlocks the gameplay portion of it which is going to be huge for completing so many different objectives and just seeing the game and feeling it and being on. It's going to be completely different. So for the web app today, really all you need to be worried about is opening your welcome backpacks, hoping you get lucky in those, doing the foundations SBC, and maybe start to mess around with the hybrid leagues and nations. Other than that, like, yeah, you can trade a little bit, but honestly, now with the web app period being as short as it is, Trading on the web app isn't what it used to be. I know everybody's like, oh, trading on the web app. I will be there for those 100 coin profit on bronze cards. Like, you're, it's going to be a struggle to make 100 coins on a bronze card if the welcome backpacks are untradeable today, which I'm expecting. We'll see what they are. But, you know, you'll be making like 30, like 40. Like, you buy a card for 200, sell it for 300. You're barely making anything type of profits, right? But, hey, if you want to go ahead and grind that, absolutely go and do it because that can get your coin balance up. But like I mentioned, do those things like the objective tricks and stuff like that. That might put you ahead of some people who are trying to trade just because there's so few people with coins and there's so few things that people are buying. So if you know the market well, have fun today doing that. But don't put a lot of pressure on yourself because – it's just the start of the game. It's meant to be fun. And the fact that we have welcome backpacks today is going to make this web app period a whole lot more fun than last year. So we're going to be live on stream today on the game, helping you guys through the web app, looking at everything that's dropped in FC 25. I cannot wait. Guys, FC 25 is literally here via the web app today. And I'm so excited, man. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe for all the updates as we move forward through this process and get on the game with content leaks and everything. We will be covering every single thing that happens. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been made for the count. See you there. Peace out.